Hello, welcome to The Healing Hearth. My name is Elizabeth, this here is Gomez. And uh, yeah, we're here to do a weekend ahead collective reading for what everyone might wanna know this weekend moving forward. Um, in the US, this is President's Day weekend and I'm just so excited to see what messages Spirit has for us. If you enjoy this reading and you would like a personal reading, I do have appointments available. Uh, we do one-on-one -on -one Zoom call meetings um, and I can do a tarot reading for you, see what you need to know. Um, I also offer love note tarot reports and I offer 10-minute um, recorded messages like this where I just kind of go ham and I see what timeless message spirit wants you to know that you can revisit at your own leisure. Um, that can be booked through my website healinghearth.net and you can check that out in my bio. Okay. And with that being said, I'm so excited. So let's get grounded, get started. Open up with a quick little prayer to center ourselves. Take a deep breath in and let it go. We thank all our guides and angels, spirit team, spirit animals. We welcome them into the space, the golden healers, the sacred flames. We all welcome them into the space. Mother Earth Gaia, we invite her in for grounding and thank her for allowing us to call her home. We ask that the highest, the brightest, the best vibrational message at this time or something better come through for the collective of what we need to know. Spirit, please allow me to be a divine and pure channel to give the most authentic and aligned message for whoever may be viewing this um, now or in the future. We release fear, anxiety, depression, self-limiting beliefs, lack mentality, um, any negative narratives in our minds and in its place, loving wisdom, support, laughter, joy, exuberance, and just pleasure to fill this beautiful space. We ground ever deeper into the earth. We connect to each of our soul stars. Spirit, please protect this space. Close any evil eye that may gaze upon us and allow this to be a safe, sacred space where we hear the highest and brightest message for all those involved. Ashe, thank you, Spirit. Okay, so I saw a lot of green. I saw a lot of green. This might be like new money coming in, um, new income. Uh, some people might be starting their own small business, trying to get that off the ground. Um, it's also very heart-centered. It's also very nature-centered. So I literally see someone walking through the woods, walking through this little like fairy-lit path. Um, yes, fairies are real. They're really magical. They're really funny. Um, I used to see them all the time as a kid and even now occasionally as an adult, but there's just something so like pure and joyful about fairies, about enjoying the simple pleasures of life, about connecting to our inner child, allowing us to play, allowing us to be curious, allowing us to, um, to wonder, to wonder without judgment, to wonder without late needing to label everything. Um, yeah, I'm seeing cleaning. Some people might be cleaning out their closets. Literally what I did today. Um, cleaning out closets, making space for freshness. We're also entering into Pisces season, which is the last zodiac sign of the astrological calendar. And with Pisces season, um, I feel like this is a real deep dive. We're going to really allow ourselves to go eat in, to go within, to be a little bit more mm, reflective to see how much we've grown, to look how, how much we've grown in the past, and to see which direction we wanna grow in the future. Uh, I'm seeing oranges. Some of us might wanna pick up our citrus intake, um, a really beautiful salad that I make when I need some oranges. I make like an orange and beets salad with a tahini dressing, it's really good. Um, I don't know, maybe you'll want to make something similar. <laughs> maybe that just sounds really good. Um, let's see what we got. Spirit, talk to me. What do we need to know? Mmm, high priestess in the reverse. This makes total sense for Pisces season. So Pisces is a water sign and it's very close to our intuition, our spirituality. And with the high priestess in the reverse, I just feel like we're empowering ourselves and clearing that crown chakra, allowing for us to dive deeper into our spirituality, to dive deeper into our own um, 
meditation practices or spiritual hygiene kind of like cleaning that up so that we're ready for that airy season which is march 20th airy season is like fiery it's hot it's roaring it's ready to go and that's the beginning of the zodiac calendar so that's when things really start to set into motion and with pisces season now we're just kind of sitting back introspecting and making sure that we have our like i literally see a person with like a looking glass over a cliff like that we have our gaze set on the right objective on what we really want to bring in this new energetic year of um, 2022 I feel like 2022 and also this is the two cards so this big two energy right with the two energy I see this as a lot of partnership a lot of like aligning more with our higher self aligning more with what we need to know what we need to see um, but also this too is kind of like a shadow self I, I heard shadow so like shadow integration so this is like the final like what what stuff do you need to work out like what stuff do you consciously see holding you back and like how can we choose how can we choose to unblock ourselves like what shift in our perspective um you know what's that little voice telling us that like we really shouldn't be doing and is in our highest and best good to avoid but we keep doing it out of obligation oh my god another two Two of Swords in the reverse. This is discernment. This is discernment. And this, um, when we're challenged by your discernment, it's kind of like um, unlearning, alert, unlearning a lot of um, what society has taught us, what our ancestors have taught us, um, self limiting beliefs in the ways of the past, because this is a whole new, I mean, Jesus, guys, it's 2022. Two, 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 two. This is like a whole new ball game. Like old rules do not apply, need not apply. And we got the lover's card. I love this. This is like, we're starting to follow our passions. We're being invited to like, find what makes us feel, follow what makes us feel alive, to follow our true passions, to maybe even like, accept the divine counterparts within. Maybe like, maybe we're seeing our own duality, how we can be two things at once, how we can do two different jobs, how we can balance, how we can balance two different aspects of ourselves and see how especially this weekend of like wow i really see how i'm holding myself back and i see how i want to gift my own energy going forward mm -hmm. sun card this is that inner child that play we got three of cups we have six of cups in the reverse okay we got the hermit card and we got the ace of swords here so with all this with all this i'm seeing yeah go out into the woods like go play go connect with the things that you liked most when you were a child maybe this is like going back and watching old childhood movies on disney plus been there done that love that it's amazing <laughs> this may also be like um with the six of cups the three of cups and the sun card all here this might be like a blast from the past like an old childhood friend an old um an old love from the past maybe like a first partner that you had and kind of like revisiting that like opening your mind to like rewriting that script you might have like written a script of like oh this is really bad but with the nostalgia again the two sides the duality there's two sides to this coin there's like the hurt and the pain but there's also the joy in what you learned from it you know like we can look at um past situations through a lens of wow they hurt me um or we can learn like wow this is where i really learned to set my boundaries i really learned my own limits i learned what i truly want out of a relationship i learned how um you know what kind of friends i accept into my reality now oh my god another two guys another two two of pentacles okay that's high priestess two two of swords two two of pentacles two Whew. okay with air and um, I'm just really drawn to the mountains here. Like, please go take a hike. Like, all due respect, go take a hike. It's going to be good for you. It's going to be really regrounding, recentering, um, refocusing on yourself, block out the noise, turn off your cell phone for an hour. No one needs you that bad. I'm, I'm telling you, you're like working it up. Like, worst case scenario is that something, someone really important calls and you miss it. It's like, that's not going to happen. With your expectation, you're making it happen. Queen of Swords and Four of Pentacles just popped up. So this is like boundaries, and I'm seeing this as boundaries with yourself. Boundaries that, um, like you're seeing, you're seeing the change that you need to make, but it requires surrendering. 
and with the six of cups here it's like letting go of, of an old part of you like an old part of you that doesn't necessarily fit with your narrative this might be a shadow self this might be i feel like just like associating with with your pain as your truth and when you associate with pain as your truth like yeah your pain and your feelings are valid but it's also keeping you stuck in that spot it's not allowing you to like take the lesson and learn and grow with it and transform it transmute it into something really beautiful to take that lesson and be like you know what now that i know better i do better but instead you're staying in this narrative of like wow they really hurt me and everyone i'm ever going to meet is going to hurt me but like dude you have the sun card and the lovers card like that's not no that's not gonna happen like you have so much love around you you have so much opportunity around you and if you could just surrender this old way of being this old um acceptance of of what was or what it felt like chariot card right on the bottom chariot card like clear it out let there be room for new to come in i think my post today was even about you know clearing out the clutter clearing out you know just making space for new stuff to come in if you keep holding on like it's giving hoarder vibes like maybe you're cleaning out like a mother's um like, like you had a family member that passed that was like a major hoarder and you're going through all their shit, right? And it's just, there's so much stuff and it makes you, it kind of triggers you in a way. It's like, oh man, I do the same thing. How can I learn to let go? How can I trust that? Because the sun card is like a lot of trust and a lot of joy. It's like, how can I trust that like where I go um, is going to sustain me? How can I trust that? here's the thing trust trust comes without eyes trust comes from the soul trust comes from the heart trust doesn't need evidence trust high priestess is believing in that which is not seen and seeing seeing it after you get there and just following the sun on the horizon there's nothing you can let you can let go of that pain if you've learned your lesson you're not going to accept below that which you what you find acceptable mm -hmm. so it's like kind of like stop stop painting this picture in your head and stop assuming mm -hmm. that the worst is going to find you ten of wands it's burning you out man it's burning you out constantly running through the worst case scenarios over and over and over and over and over in your head it's like isn't it exhausting like aren't you tired of having to think of worst case scenarios every single fucking time you know what i mean like enough enough and you're fighting it you're fighting this new start because it's like it's unfamiliar therefore it must be unsafe but the truth is going to pop out here the truth, Two of Cups, is that this is a really beautiful opportunity to relearn about yourself, to reconnect with yourself, and to re-meet yourself. Because you're basing yourself on like this hurt, this hurt child past like Six of Cups again reverse with that. Is like this past trauma of being the truth. And then with the Two of Cups, mind you, the only two we're missing here is the Two of Wands. So it's kind of like stop and let yourself re-meet yourself. See how you've grown. With the Hermit card, like don't be afraid to like go in and review. Like go through the old journals. Go through, yeah, definitely old journals with the Ace of Swords here. It's like write it out. Write out, you know, like you don't have to publish it, but be like if you were to write your story of how you got to where you are today, what would you write? And if you're not a writer, like think about it in a movie, like make a voice recording, do something that that expresses that past self that you can review and revisit and hear yourself, hear your own words, because no one, you're not gonna believe it if someone else tells you, you have to feel it for yourself, you have to recognize it in yourself, like that's the empowerment, that's when you see it and you're like, oh shit, I have come so far and I have been selling myself so short, I've been selling myself on the price that I was two years ago, 10 years ago, 18 years ago. And the truth is I've evolved. I've really grown. I've, you know, I've taken life with leaps and bounds. I've taken risks and I've gotten reward, you know, in those moments where I was pressed up against the edge of the cliff, like full card vibes, eight of cups. It's time to walk away from that old narrative. Yes, it'll be emotional. Like, girl, we got so many cups here. Yes, it might be an emotional purge. You might need to cry, but that release like the crying will stop, it naturally will stop, your body will stop, 
And once you release all that held on energy, it's gonna make you feel so much lighter and it's going to like enliven your heart. Each breakdown leads to a breakthrough. Each heartbreak leads to a heart expansion. It's allowing yourself more self-compassion, but not without like seeing yourself clearly and calling yourself on your own shit, calling yourself on you selling yourself short. And it's like, Hun, you've been working so hard on this. You've been working, you've been struggling, you've been putting in the work and it's paid off. Why? Why are you still holding on to this pain? We've been working through it. We've been doing the work. We've been doing the shadow self. We've been doing the healing to move past this. And now you don't want to move past it because you're comfortable with the pain. You're used to the pain. The pain is familiar and you're not really in that place well, like you're in that place where you can trust but for some reason you're just not letting go it's like this high priestess in the reverse that came out you, you're not trusting you're not trusting yourself so revisit yourself revisit yourself and maybe if you have a hard time reflecting your truth maybe you're very critical of yourself maybe you're your own worst enemy like queen of swords like she can be like a real bitch like she can literally cut your head off with a sword and if you're like that with yourself if you have a negative self narrative maybe go to your friends your trusted friends those that know you really well that are always there for you when you feel down for those that are support you and love you and want to see you grow not friends who are like I want to succeed more than them so like if they start to like go outside my circle then I'm gonna act up or I'm gonna undermine you not those friends like don't have those friends like cut those friends out queen of swords literally cut those friends out that's that's another boundary but the friends who inspire you who add to your life who make you feel full instead of drained when you leave them like at the end of the day judgment card this is raw like I don't want you I don't want you to judge yourself. I don't want you to judge others. I want you to see yourself. The judgment card is like, these beautiful little people are all Nikki. They all Nikki. They have nothing to hide. They are showing themselves as they are in the current moment, in its truest form. And they're just, she's literally applauding them. She's like, good for you. Good for you. Welcome. We've been waiting for you to come out of this box. Like they're literally coming out of little boxes. Well, they're coffins, but we're going to call them boxes for now. Uh, <laughs> they're literally coming out of their box and she's like, yes, do it. Yes. This is like this combination of the ace of swords and the sun card is like yes do it it's your time it's your time like let yourself shine don't be afraid of your shine emperor card emperor card you set forward major goals for yourself and by letting the ruminating thoughts by letting the intrusive thoughts get the best of you it it can really blind you, two of swords. It can really blind you to the truth, but it's like, hold yourself accountable. Like you set this intention, you manifested this change, <laughs> you asked for it. And now spirit, we're like, we're giving it to you. Take it, freaking take it. <laughs> uh, I just feel like, especially with all this like two, like literally all this two energy, it's just like, a need for rebalance, a need for recentering, a need for, um, and, and it's funny because next would be threes, right? Which is giving me like Goldilocks vibes, like too hot, too cold, just right. But that's also like a two situation because if you think about it, like a scale is like, oh, that's too much. Oh no, that's too little right here, right here. Like I can have fun and I can get my shit done. Like I can be spiritual have a meditative practice but also like hold a left brain job and like do that really well stuff like that uh let's see what else we got any other messages i'm referring to the sorry gomez the sacred <laughs> the sacred the faceted garden oracle i really like this deck i don't know why um i think it's the edges they're like chromatic and rainbow okay so we got fall 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 is like big energy of okay i'm getting two things first of all the mushrooms in this picture the mushrooms in this picture are giving like 
gifts in unexpected places things growing where you didn't really intend them to grow but they're still beautiful they're still nurturing they're still nourishing um but it can also be okay there's a third message mushrooms if you don't do enough research if you don't do enough research they can also be poisonous so it's kind of like that's the discernment is like is this too much of a good thing or is this poison do you know and then fall is a time of surrender it's a time to let go to let the old wash away again clean out your clutter please do it they keep saying that over and over again and gemstones gemstones some of you might be getting more into crystals um adding in like crystal consciousness healing crystal crystalline dna healing um this might also be I'm seeing like prismatic effect like you're not seeing how you by just being you and like standing in your light you actually shoot off rainbows to people around you you inspire other people around you and the rainbow is a sign of hope it's a sign of like through all the tough times like the rain like pouring pelting rain there can still be something so beautiful that comes from it and you are that something beautiful like you are that crystal you are that prism that's just like also like Pink Floyd, maybe you want to listen to Pink Floyd. Maybe there's like a message in there for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, like you give off so much hope, you give off so much light, you give off so much beauty. Let yourself shine, don't hide yourself away, you know? Okay, we're gonna see how we can manifest our greatness. <laughs> this good. I love, I love these, these cards. They're so funky and like, I learn as I collect more and more of these cards. Um, I just really like art. I like doing art. I like observing art. I like the energy that comes with art, you know? Multiple forms of ink, multiple streams of income. This is literally what I said right in the beginning, that green energy, like you are opening up to like a new way to make money. Think bigger, think bigger, think bigger. Don't sell yourself short. Don't sell yourself on a dream that you had 10 years ago. Like you've changed. How, how, how have you grown? And then are you gonna let your dreams grow on top of this? Take care of yourself, nurture yourself, eat well, eat the rainbow, eat oranges, black out the media. That's also what I said. I said that in the beginning, like cut out the social media and it's time to like reintrospect with yourself to take care of yourself, like balance the three of the spiritual body, the emotional body and the physical body. And when you get all that stuff together, it's a lot easier and more efficient to work through the shadows to integrate that healing to integrate that um forgiveness and that grace that you really need from yourself at this time and since we were told to take care of yourself i'm going to refer to the sacred self-care oracle for last message to see how we can care for ourselves this weekend or if you find this at any other time how you can take care of yourself right now right now I literally started this reading by talking about fairies. Look for fairies. Let yourself have joy. Let yourself have fun. Be open to your imagination. Meditate. Meditate that introspective time, that moment of quiet, of blocking out the world and reconnecting with yourself, your center, and chan uh, chanting. I was going to say channeling. And that might go hand in hand with the meditation. You might have some really good downloads that come through, like really inspired ideas or like epiphanies of seeing how you've grown. Chanting, make sure that you're expressing yourself in the most authentic way you can. Don't say yes to obligations all the time. You can't say yes to everything. You really can't. There's one more. They just told me there's one more in here. Thank you. Mm, clean, clear your energy field. Clear your energy field. You might want to get some sage. Um, smudge out your home. Um, this is also like maybe taking a shower with the intention of washing that crown, right? That blocked off crown chakra. Um, this could also be, I'm seeing like aromatherapy, like maybe you're working with essential oils and like a diffuser, like getting back into that ritual because that makes you happy, that makes you focused. Or, or maybe you want to buy some cone incense, like I'm literally seeing cones of incense. Where they make them like the incense sick, they make the loose incense, but they also make like the little cones and they have these cool little things where the smoke will like flow down this waterfall. I have one downstairs. Um, maybe I'll show it. 
Um, so yeah, invest in that. Try it out. You might like it. You might like it, especially if you're work from home and you can like burn, burn it, you know? So anyway, thank you for tapping in. I'm wishing everyone who tapped in for the live and, and whoever receives this message whenever you do, I'm wishing you so many blessings. As I said before, um, I am Elizabeth part of the Healing Heart. I offer one-on-one -on -one tarot readings. You can book them through my website, healinghearth.net. I also offer um, written tarot reports. If our schedules don't gel, which is you basically send me a question, I do a whole tarot report for you, two to three page write-up. And then I also offer like 10 minute channeled messages um, where I just do a recording like this and you get a timeless message from me. You get to see this beautiful face and this beautiful face. <laughs> and we just do like a little reading for you and, and check in, see see what spirit wants you to know, wants you to remember. Um, and then I also randomly on Tuesdays, sorry, Tuesdays and Saturday nights on Instagram, I go live and I try to do a collective message uh, for everyone who wants to tap in. And I also offer $10 card pulls, which are a five minute quickie reading. I've been getting really... Uh, I appreciate everyone's support who's who's shown up for those events and I, I cannot wait to hold more and, and to get more people into my into my little tribe. I'm so excited, guys. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for tapping in. I love you. I wish you the best. If you need me, message me. Um, we can talk, we can chat, we can gel. And I'm wishing you a great weekend. Bye.